Well, what's up people, Dobbs Wolves is right here and welcome to the final Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening of the month for the end of the year, people. And we might as well celebrate Yu-Gi-Oh! for what it's been this year. It's had its, it's had its very, very good ups and it's had its very, very lows. The meta has been quite frightening, but it's the ban list kept on hitting hard. We lost some amazing cards in the ban list, like the greatness of Mystic Mine, but they brought back amazing cards like the good old change of hearts, skill drain, and some other fantastic cards. So to celebrate it, we're opening up four tins of the 25th anniversary, quarter of a century, mega tins. Now, this year's set from these mega tins, there is some big, big cards in this set, people, really big cards. So we got ourselves the one card I'm always after, which I never ever pulled ever from every single boost box I ever ever opened and that is King Regulus he's a Therian card the one card I always wanted but never got a chance to pull and besides that there are also Cacheteras there are Runics there is Scarecrows there is Bestial cards there's branded cards people this tin is OMFG people to the max. Is it better than last year's tin? I don't think so. However, they did give us something beautiful as well, which every tin has. You get yourself a guaranteed quarter of a century rare card. And it could be any of the main characters ace cards. Which they are. The Dark Magician. The Head of Exodia. The Red Eyes Black Dragon. Rainbow Dragon. Cyber Dragon, Elemental Hero Neos, there is Firewall Dragon, Deco Talker, Odd Eyes Pendulum, um, Photon Dragon, Utopia, Black Rose Dragon, the list goes on people, there's so many great cards, but we got four chances to pull four great quarter of a century rare cards. We're going to open these up right now and see what our quarter of a century cards are. I God hope I don't get doubles out of four tins. So the first one, the one, <coughs> just to say out loud people, what are the most sought after ones out of them all? It is of course the Dark Magician, Exodia, the Red Eyes, the Cyber Dragon, and of course the Stardust Dragon. People would say Utopia, but I don't think so. But they're the ones I really, really do want. But either way, any of them will be good. First one, let's have a look. Ooh, Firewall Dragon, okay, that is a great star. That's a very, very nice card. It was extremely overpowered when it first came out, people. And then it got banned. <laughs> and then it got um, rehashed with um, a new effect. And then it got unbanned. So yeah, it, um, it, got, it was very, very strong to start off with. And then it got very, very weak, <laughs> which is a shame. But yeah, I'm going to keep it sealed for the time being, and I'll open them up off camera. Second tin, what do we have? Oh, okay. We got ourselves Photon Dragon. Another great card. Somebody I very, very much do know would really want that card, but uh, he's already got one. But he would really love to get three of them. <laughs> and there's another three packs right there. We'll put the tin to the side. Uh, second tin, what do we get? Oh, Deco Talker! We get some of the newer cards. That's actually not bad. We're not getting any of the retro ones yet, but how are they? At least they're not doubles. That's the thing I'm happy with. <laughs> I don't want doubles. For the love of God, I don't want doubles. Next one. Elder Hero Neos! Oh, look at that! That is awesome. Good old OG Yu-Gi-Oh! GX right there. And you guys know it, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! GX more than anything. I do actually prefer it than the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Yes, some of you lot are going to hate me for that, but either way, I don't care. So nice, we got ourselves four complete different cards. That is really, really good start for me. I'm, I'm going to try and hunt down all of them in the future, but for the time being, I need to save up my money for a big set that's coming out for you guys next year. And uh, the set's already out, if you guys want to know. I just need to buy it. <laughs> so... Either way, four times three. Whew, that's a lot, a lot of packs, people. A lot, a lot of mega packs. Now, like I said, people, 
What are the main cards I'm going after? King Regulus is number one. Kashitira Fenrir is number two. Runix and number three. Scareclaws, sure, but by God, I want that. That I really do want that Regulus more than anything. But anyhow, let's crack these open and let's see what are in these mega packs. Let's have a look. So we've got some Scareclaw commons, that's cool. Grand Tusk, which used to be an a, a Ultra at one point. We've got some Book, Medium. Hey, there's our first Runic right there. We've got ourselves the Fang. We've got Overfusion. Cool for your a Hero card. we got ourselves some uh, branded cards. We've got Abyss Dragon Ultra Rare. And we got a Blackwing Sandstorm. And a Starving Venom Pedal Power Fusion Dragon. Very nice. And there's our rare. Okay, oh, there's a runic there. Um, Smashing Storm. Smashing Storm. Smashing! <laughs> um, I'm not going to go ahead and sleeve up them all up right away, people, because that's going to take us a long time. But we'll put the secret rares there. Rare there. Two ultras. And then our super. There we go. Next pack. Nice, we've got Therian Cross. A brute. Hey, we got ourselves a Libromancer. I've already made the deck, so I don't need him. But it's nice to have him. We got Therian Bull, as a snow rare. A new super. We got Tyrant of Thunder, as, a, as an ultra. Runic Golden Droplet. Nice ultra. Oh, Illusion of Chaos, as a secret. Lovely. And a Dinomorphia Teresia. Okay. Oh, and there's a Runic right there. Nice. Some nice commons right there. The commons we don't need to look at, people, because we've seen them many, many times on other sets that we've opened up. But the hollows are the ones we want to go after. Come on. At the minute, it's been okay, but we've not pulled anything that we really, really, really wanted. The Bermancers, fair enough. We've got Wally, book. Exo Sisters, super rare. Libermancer Fire, that used to be a hard card for me to pull. Ooh, we got the Noble Knights of the Noble Arms. Nice. We got ourselves a Triple D King Kaiser, which I think is a very, very cheap secret. And a Thunderese, okay. And we got ourselves the Magnet Warrior, okay. That was a bit of a dud pack right there, to be honest, people. That was a bit of a stinker, I'd say. But either way, do I do. Anyway, I do like my Thunderese, people. I really do. But that's the only Thunderese card that's in this set, which I think is absolutely a travesty, people. It really is. It's such a shame. I see Penny, Gouda, Bonded, License, Fire Overhead. I still don't understand why this is a super. We got ourselves, nice, a good Ultra Rare right there, which is actually a good Fusion Pendulum Monster. Blackwing, Zonda, The Dusk. Okay. Ooh, the Draco Slayer Secret. Nice. Oh, Cash in Birth! That's good. That's a nice, good rarity bump right there. This was originally a super rare, if I recall. And more nice commons. So we've got one Cacheteria Secret, but it's not what we wanted. But come on, I need a Fenrir, I need either Regulus, anybody. Even a Droplet would be nice. Sonic, don't let my luck go down yet. Smile Potion, nice. we got ourselves Maple Maiden, so Ultra. Illegal Knight, that is actually a good ultra rare right there. Oh, Spirit of Neos, that is such a beautiful card right there as a secret. This used to be a super rare at the start. Oh, and a Scarecrow Reihard, that is nice. That is a really, really good pack right there. Very nice. Very good, very nice. My throat is really hurting. Too much screaming. <laughs> Next pack. Let's have a look. Fire Burst, Co uh, Qu Quartz. We got Venual Dragon, a super. We got Bird of Perfection as an ultra. Oh, nice. We got Skull Cat. Oh, we get it. We get Running Fountain as a secret rare right there. That is a great card right there. Beautiful card. And a try heart. Let's go. That is a really, really good pack right there. 
Runic Fountain is like the devastating card in the Runic deck. It's horrible. It's nasty. It's freaking disgusting of a card. But I love it now that I own it. <laughs> when it first came out, I never pulled it and it was such a freaking pain in the backside to pull. Thank God I now got it. Now I can actually use it. <laughs> Uh, duplicate sail band that used to be a secret rare, so it's got a D. It's got a D rarity. Uh, we got some Reapia Foom, Ultra and Dynamorphia. Another Dynamorphia secret, and another one. Okay, that's a bit of a weird dud, but it's not extremely bad. But it's it's not what I want. But it doesn't matter. We still got a few packs left, people. So we still are hoping to get some amazing. But it's not the end of me opening up these tins, people. I will be opening up more of these tins in the near future. Some good Therians right there as a common. I like it. Uh, Doll Happiness, a super. Uh, Charge Ultra, nice. Pit Knight as an Ultra, that's good. We got ourselves Draco Slay Secret and a Therian um, Discolosseum Secret, nice. It used to be an Ultra rare back then. <clears throat> okay, we actually are getting some Therian cards and some Runex and some Scareclaws, but I don't see hardly any branded cards yet, which is quite in interesting. So possibly it's a lot more harder to pull them, which is going to be a bit of a kick in the balls for me. Diamond, we've got Orochi, Nature Blessing, Exorcist of Kirtel, Chaos, Master of Chaos, I'll take that. And a Blackwing Phantom Glimmer. Okay, more Blackwing cards. I don't mind Blackwings, people. I just don't play them, which is a bit of a shame for me because Blackwings are actually really, really strong. But there's so many of them now, it's ridiculous. We've only got three packs left, people. Come on. Cross your fingers, people, that we get regulars. Just one regular would be nice. We've got Miss. We've got Amazonis. Nice. Nice. We've got the Rider. Oh, Vision of Blue Eyes of Blue. A nice Blue Eyes card right there. And another Fusion Dragon. Okay. To be honest, people, this is my first time opening up these tins with you guys. So, these are all new cards. I'm not really going to be selling these cards. I'm keeping them. They're going to go into a lot, a lot of decks that I'm building. So, I am looking forward to it. we got Smoke Mosquito. Ultimate Fusion. Nice. Dynamorphia, a North Lundaries, and a Zombie Vampire. Nice, a second one of that for my, for my own collection. I'll take that. But the final pack of magic, people. Can we get a Regulus? Those Regulus run away from me again. Or will I get myself another Fountain? Or do I get myself a Fenrir? Let's have a look. Either way, I don't think luck has ran out, people, because we did pull a lot of great cards. Chief Warrior. Kashitira. Nice! We got Red Eyes Zombie Dragon Lord. And a Bestial Rebellion! Let's go! That is a really good card, Bestial! Woo! I think I'll take that as an end in there, people. Bestial Rebellion is actually a really damn strong card. And I'm not lying, it's really, really damn strong. And a lot of people play it, so... Hell yeah! So, for the Hollow Rares of the day, people, four tins. We got a lot, a lot of great cards for four tins, people, just to be honest. Really, really good tip cards. So these are our rares. If you guys want to pause, that's perfectly fine. But this is our pull rate for four tins that were randomly picked. And there's our supers. Then we have our ultras. I can see though that some of them are going to be harder to pull because of the pull rate or the pull rate is very very low for what I can see. Which I am not looking forward to people because my god that's going to be the biggest kick in the balls ever. Seriously. But I think the best card we pulled today though is by far the one and only Runic Fountain. That's the best pull of the day I think. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. If I don't, I just don't see you now until the next year, because you guys are not into your Pokemon pack or rings, that's perfectly fine. Hope you have a great Christmas, I'll see you next year. But if you guys want to stay tuned, the next lot of the next lot is Pokemon pack or rings, and OMFG people, it's going to be freaking insane. Because it's, 
it is going to be the hunt for Charizards again. With that being said, the people I'm speaking to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! <coughs> oh my god! What a way to end off Yu-Gi-Oh! My luck should be on my side now for this next set. Obsidian Flames. Charizard, I'm coming for you. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! Oh! Yeah!